Allah wants first and foremost, I'm going to give all praise and glory and honor to Yahweh Bashem, Yahshai Bashem, Rechokadash, the bond of my apostles and others of the great millstone who were well. Peace and salutations to the hopeful elect out here pushing this truth and sincerity to watch for which I do. We love you. We appreciate the good spirit of Yahweh Bashem, Yahshai, Shalom. If you're watching this now, you're a so called black Native American or Latino man or woman, you're a Hebrew or Israelite according to the Holy Bible. All right, if you're watching this now and you don't look like a so called black Native American or Latino, man or woman but you feel like this this is the truth that what we speak is the truth shit sometimes you might even feel like your spirit comes from a so-called black native american latino then there's a very big possibility that you could be a hebrew israelite all right who the world ignorantly calls god his name is yahweh meaning he is and who the world ignorantly calls yahweh shy his name is of Salachi, Salachi, who the word ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, his name is Yahweh Shai. Alright? It means he is the Savior. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna, this is not gonna be, uh, it's not gonna be long. I'm just gonna get sh straight to the point. Alright? Because y'all see this coronavirus, everybody's talking about this, this epidemic, so to speak, and the different things that are happening in the world right today. You hear people talk all the time about how this, these things that are happening are their biblical proportions, all right? They're happening on a biblical scale. They're happening in, in, in prophetic um, uh, incidences. But that's, and that's beautiful because we've been out here teaching that, all right? Starting with our apostles and elders of great millstone. Let's get Jeremiah chapter 28, verse 8. It says, the prophets, all right? The prophets do what? They prophesy. What does it mean to prophesy? All right? It means to say before. Say what before? Say before something happens. Something major happens. Moses was prophesying when, when he said that, yo, there's going to be plagues upon Egypt if you don't let us go. If you don't let the, the children of Israel go. Noah prophesied and told the children of Israel that if you don't get your shit together, the Most High actually, you know what? Not even to get this shit together. He told them that it's going to rain, all right, and, and flood the earth. He was prophesying, and what happened? They didn't listen to him. He, they, were, they were all saying before these things happened, and they actually happened. They actually took place. So that's what we're doing. The prophets were prophesying. We're saying these things are going to happen before they happen. That's how you know we who, who has the power, man, you know, through the Spirit, through the Spirit. That's how you know who has the truth if you want to ask yourself if this is the truth or not. That's how you know. This proof is in a pudding, man. It says, The prophets that have been before me and before thee of old prophesied both against many countries and against great kingdoms of war and evil and of pestilence. So we're prophet got signed against many countries and against great kingdoms, all right? We're telling all the kingdoms of the world right now, the major powers that are, are um, that are at hand, that they're going to go down and we're going to come up. Yahweh Shai, who are, who are ignorant because Jesus Christ, they're going to come save us and make war with these motherfuckers out here. That's prophesying against great kingdoms. It says, of war, <laughs> right, and of evil and of pestilence. Now you got the coronavirus going on right now. Um, what whether it be real or fake, this is happening on a biblical scale. People are losing their minds right now. They don't know what the hell is going on, and that's good for you people because the prop, the apostles and elders have been out there for many decades telling you people that this was stuff was going to happen. That's why it says the prophets that have been before me and before thee of old prophesied both against many countries and against great kingdoms of war and of evil and of pestilence. How can these men have predicted these things if the Most High wasn't dealing with them? Because y'all say that the Bible is fake. You say the Bible is outdated. You say that the Bible is um is void. You say that the Bible was written by man, mere, mere men. And, and, and the things, you know, the wars and the pestilences, they've always happened. So, basically, it's just a coincidence, a coincidence that these things are happening, and so that, and that, you know, the Bible predicted these things because basically you're trying to say that well because these things always happen anyways, 
when they wrote the Bible, it was like basically they, they were they weren't really prophesying. They were just stating the obvious. Like, no, nigga. It's very particular on the way the most high have the Bible written. The Bible, you can use the Bible for literally anything. Anything. Let's get um Isaiah. Right? Because we're gonna prove that this Bible is, is goes hand in hand with every everything in the world, man. There's nothing that the Bible cannot uh um explain. Isaiah chapter 34. Verse 16, it says, Seek ye out of the book of the Lord, all right, the Lord Yahweh Bashim Yahshai, of course, and read. No one of these shall fail. No one of these what? These prophecies. No, no, no one of these prophecies are the things that the uh, that's written in the Bible shall fail. Everything that the, the Most High said was going to happen, it happened. The children of Israel going into slavery, that was written about um, the so called black man going into slavery, that was written in. Uh, Deuteronomy, Deuteronomy chapter 28 verse 68 All right Shit hey look Issachar all right which is the so-called Mexicans we found out through the spirit all right of, of diligent studies and, and and of course the spirit first and foremost revealing all right to our leaders to our elders that the tribe of Issachar were the so-called Mexicans and the word Issachar, all right, Ash, uh, Ash, Yashakar, Yashakar means he is hired, all right, I, uh, uh, Issachar in Hebrew is Yashakar, it means he is hired, who does that fit, man, the so-called Mexicans, they're the only people out here busting their ass in these jobs, well, not the only ones, but mostly, you go into any goddamn restaurant, you look on any top, top of any damn roof, or underneath a damn car, it's fucking Issachar, man, the so-called Mexicans out there busting their asses, man, with these jobs. <laughs> it's even a joke be, to be said about how um um if anybody's gonna build the fucking uh, the wall for Donald Trump, it's gonna be the, uh, the fucking Mexicans. You see, he is hired. That's prophecy, man. What are you talking about? It's beautiful, man. Yapa, all right, in the Hebrew, Yapa, beautiful. It says, "None shall want her mate." Yeah, because you can't. So it says, uh, Seek ye out of the book of the Lord, Yahweh, Bashim, Yahshai, and read. None of these shall fail. None shall want her mate. So you can't match this book with, with the Quran. You can't match this book with uh, the Book of the Dead. Uh, 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 any of these, these books that are held on the high esteem, none of them can save you. None of them can, can, can show you the things that the, uh, the secret things that the, um, the Bible can, man. <laughs> it said, For my mouth it hath commanded. Because the Heavenly Father put this out here, man. So who, so how how can you match this book with any others? All right, it says, and His Spirit is gathered. Um, and His Spirit it hath gathered them. Right, and His Spirit we are able to be gathered. Um, through the, through His Spirit, man. That's how we're out here prophesying in the street corners. That's why you're here watching this video right now. The Most High had gathered us, man. All right, let's get uh Matthew chapter. What is it, uh twenty four. Verse verse one it says in Yahweh Shai, right? Went out and departed from the temple, and his disciples came to him for to shew him the buildings of the temple. And Yahweh Shai said unto them, See ye not all these things? Verily I say unto you, there shall not be left here one stone upon another that shall not be thrown down. Alright? It says, And as he sat upon the Mount of Olives, the disciples came unto him privately, saying, Tell us, when shall these things be? And what shall be the sign of thy coming? And of the end of the world. And Yahweh shall answer and said unto them, Take heed that no man deceive you. For many shall come in my name, saying, I am Hamashiach, and shall deceive many. And ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. Now, are we not hearing of wars and rumors of wars? All right. See that ye be not troubled, for all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. All right. These are the labor pains that are happening right now. The end isn't here yet. But people are losing their fucking minds out there because they don't have the spirit. Because they don't believe in the most high power through his son. They don't believe that what we're saying is true. That's why the scriptures say, um, how long, ye simple ones, will you love simplicity? You people love simple things. You don't love truth. You don't love the, all right, the heavenly father. You love uh, hip-hop, twerking, video games. 
and lies, man. You love lies, man. <laughs> they got a song called Mentirosa. You fucking people, all you do is indulge in lies, man. All right? You're lying because your damn Instagram is uh is showing you that you look better than what you actually look like in real life because you're able to use filters. All right? You're lying with your damn makeup you put on your face. You 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 lying um in, in your in your churches. You you you're lying in your church saying that so called uh um that that the Most High and His Son are so called white people. You're lying in your churches saying that you can eat pork. You're lying in your churches that you you don't you don't have to grow your beard as a man. You're lying in the churches telling uh uh people they can eat whatever they want and do whatever the fuck ever they want. Smoke cigarettes and shit. Cause 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 uh don't judge us. Oh, don't judge us. Because you know why you don't want nobody to judge you? Because you don't want nobody to correct you. Because you don't want nobody to tell you that you're um that you're you're a damn hypocrite, man. You don't want to hear the truth. You guys want to hear lies. All right. It says, "For nation shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom, and there shall be famines and pestilences and earthquakes in diverse places. All these are the beginning of sorrows." The Bible told you that, and look what's happening right now. Now, whether this coronavirus is actually a real plague or not, well, guess what? don't matter because when you actually see these plagues hit you want to see people dying left and right man like the like they showed you in these different movies man you know this is going to be beautiful when this thing happens man I, hey i'll be right this out, man this is it for you fucking people out here man and after that they're going to bring the mark of the beast which is the irfr which is the microchip implant they're going to implant you people with microchips and guess what that is the mark of the beast Alright? So that's all I got for this video. Alright, until next time. Alright, all praises to the most high. Go hello and la. Yahweh Bashim Yashai. Peace and salutation. Uh, double honors to the apostles, elders, and peace and salutations to the whole full life. Shalom.